Hi, I'm Bill Springer. I'm here with Paris from Ocean Co. Hi, Bill. How did you come up with this project, Paris? I think we started back in 2020 with uh, Jaws Taylor talking about a possible design. Started talking about yachting, started talking about automotive, and then we saw some interesting trends that we both see happening. And so we thought, you know, how can we use his experience to bring into yachting? And that's a little bit how the conversation started, how NXT started, and how we started thinking about the initial lines of uh, Aeolus. Can you tell us a little bit about how you actually pulled together this group of uh, people to collaborate with? First of all, it doesn't happen overnight. So it, it's really very much a, an organic process, also very much a personal process. Uh, we get to know our partners, uh, see if they share the, the same vision, the same values, uh, if they get it. Giles had this. With Njord, we had the same experience. We, we saw the portfolio, they see what they're doing in, in land-based projects. Also, you know, changing perspectives, uh, seeing the trends. And of course, then we have Lateral. And with Lateral, we have a, a long-standing relationship. We have done uh, numerous projects uh, with them. We appreciate their innovative spirit. And, you know, the whole ask new questions philosophy. And on top of that, we have two very respected names in the marine industry, and that's MTU and ABB. And you can imagine, you know, it's quite a formidable lineup if you put ABB, MTU, Lateral, and our technical experts at Oshiko together. That's an interesting sort of segue into my next question. So, how does Aeolus actually represent? Oshiko's vision for the future? Very, very, very much on, on authentic and meaningful sustainability. We're not looking to develop another design. There are enough designs everywhere. So we, we started with the philosophy that we need to do something to answer future demands, but starting today, uh, and something which is feasible today. So at the very core, the very heart of the project, there is an energy transition platform. And that means that the yacht Aeolus, somebody, a client, can pull the trigger now and be as sustainable as possible now, but also have the room to transition as time moves, all the way uh, to a possible net zero solution. And so that is an interesting question that I have in my mind because I've seen a lot of concept yachts. This isn't a concept yacht, this is a project. Is that that's, right? That's very right. Yeah. I think it's against the grain of, of Oshuko to put out designs which are not feasible, which are not buildable. Of course, they're very innovative, but that does not mean they're not uh, buildable. Anybody can sort of do a design on a computer. Nowadays, true. Rendering. But the amount of hours we put in uh, from engineering, from naval architecture, from design, we really make sure that it works. Because the last thing you want to do is go back to a potential client and say, I'm sorry, this is not possible. Now tell me a little bit about how um, you describe Aeolus to potential clients. It is definitely a yacht for somebody uh, who is quite visionary, quite young-minded, uh, perhaps a rule breaker, or actually somebody who wants to make an impactful change without being a guinea pig. I think she's a full package. This is a 21st century super yacht, yeah? Yes, but it's not something of the future. It, it's not, it's today. Mm, right. Well, Paris, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Bill.